Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have the Daiso Petit Block Toy Poodle. This is part of the Friends of Dogs and Cats series and is the fourth set in the series. This is also mini block number 28 and is recommended for ages 12 and up. So let's go ahead and check out this cute little dog. All right, everybody, so here is the Daiso Petit Block Toy Poodle. Now, I am really, really excited to make this because I think that the dog looks really, really cute in this image here. Now, I have done a couple of Daiso Petit Blocks, and so if you don't know what Daiso Petit Block is, think of them as just really, really, really tiny Legos. So Daiso Petit Block is a version of Nano Block, which is essentially just a version of Lego, where it is just very, very tiny pieces. So as you can see here, here's a picture of a comparison between the two. You can see it's a pretty big difference so these are just very very tiny legos and this is also recommended for ages 12 and up here is the back of the package and so let's go ahead and open this up Alrighty. so inside of the back or inside of the package here you get one loose green base plate we also get our bag of bricks and as well as our instructions let's go ahead and take a look at that Alrighty, so at the top of the page here, we get a uh, brick list, and here are some of the instructions. Oh. And it looks like we can complete this in about eight easy steps, and the ninth one is just to show that it is finished. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and open up our bag of bricks, and we can get building. All right, everybody, so I have finished the toy poodle, and I gotta say, it turned out really, really cute. I really liked how this turned out. Uh, now, as you can see here, there is four main colors here. We have, like, this sort of, like, beige color, and we also have this brown, blue, and black here. Oh, if you're not counting the base plate, which is also one thing, too. They give you this grassy base plate here, um, as in with a lot of the other traditional petite blocks, and I think it turned out really, really great. It definitely looks like the actual poodle, I gotta say. Um, I definitely like how they did the ears and the structure of the head. It makes it look really, really cool, and also the blue collar is a nice addition, too. I really liked how they did that there. And now looking at some of the details of this dog here, as you can already tell, there's sort of like this beige color at the bottom of the dog, which, let's see, just like that. And it looks pretty realistic there with that color, so I really like what they did there. And also at the tip of the tail too, which is nice, let's see. <laughs> kind of struggling to get this back on. There we go. And the head structure too is also really, really nice. I really like how they did this with the actual dog. It looks really, really nice. And of course, there's just a blue collar, which just goes around like that it does look a little bit funny from the front especially just because um i'm pretty sure this is this was a two by four yes they just put a two by four in here and but from the side and at other angles i think it looks really really great and there's not too much to say about this i just really liked how it turned out i think the color is really nice choice for this and this is the toy poodle now i'm not an expert at dogs but i'd say i'm really really happy with how this looks as a toy poodle now this was actually not too hard to make this thing only took me 13 minutes real time to create this which is uh, pretty quick considering this daiso petite block and i'd say if you are a dog lover this would be a very 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 fun and quick and easy kit to have because um, I think that any dog lo dog lover would really like this. And so this is the toy poodle here. And as a tradition with all of my extra pieces with my building bricks, 
I always try to make little miniature builds, whether that be little accessories, something funny, or a miniature version of this. Now, the pieces, the selection of pieces that they gave me, and the extra pieces, uh, was a little bit weird to work with. I had a long time uh, to try to think of something to make, uh, to make, but unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't really get the proportions right on this, but I think it looks really funny. So, introducing Baby Poodle. <laughs> So this does look really really funny, especially with the scale and I didn't have enough pieces for like the actual body part So it looks really funny <laughs> Just literally a 1x4 with studs put on it and a very very skinny dog But hey, I guess this can be considered uh, Like the poodle's baby because very very tiny and the eyes you can't really yep There's no eyes. <laughs> I wasn't able to fit in any eyes because they only gave us this one little one by one piece uh, to put in there. I was thinking about a technique that I think I did with like the owl where I put the little black piece in between and then put a one by one between it but it was too hard for me to create uh, but I tried to get the general look of like what I think a baby poodle would look like and I think the thing that just float throws it off is the little body it has <laughs> compared to it but hey I still think it's a little bit cute and that is it for the toy poodle. Nothing too much uh, to say about this rather than just a really really cute doggy that is very fun to make and if you're a beginner I definitely recommend this kit uh, because there's not too many well not too many difficult parts in it uh, you just had some little bits of layering but it was really easy I went the non-traditional route and just went ahead and flipped the dog over and then just started to apply pieces as I saw them uh, but overall really really easy beginner kit and I really like how this turned out they were able to put so much detail and looks of the actual toy poodle in this little kit here so overall i give this a big thumbs up definitely one of my most cutest little dogs that i have now in my daiso petite block collection all right everybody so that was the daiso petite block toy poodle and i gotta say this was actually really really easy to build this only took me around 13 minutes to build and i think for a beginner this would be a perfect set and especially if you're a dog lover which who doesn't love dogs because I think this looks really really cute and also realistic to the actual dog itself too. Now the actual building of experience of this, there was a lot of stacking which as you know me I don't really like laying out the bricks and stacking them but I think if you go the non-traditional way and just adding the pieces onto a main part then I think that will be way way more easier. Uh, but overall I still think it is a really really easy kit to build, um, not a lot of too complicated techniques and Better yet, too, you get a cute and realistic looking dog. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you did, be sure to give me a like, and also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!